All right, Corinne, let's take a look at one of your runs on uh, South Bowl this past weekend. We'll check it out from both a technical and tactical perspective. And uh, so here we go. You know, from a technical standpoint, really got to develop a little more confidence. You can do it. Roll them up a little more at the top of the turn. You know, we can see a lot of spray going on. We're kind of just pivoting them. You can see they're kind of underneath you. Um, not a lot of edge angle there. And you're just sort of like steering them around. I mean, you can see right there, still not a whole lot of, uh, you know, they're not out from underneath you, um, not rolled up nearly as much, just kind of skidding around. Um, we talked about, uh, well, the tip of the week this week, long outside leg, short inside leg. I mean, clearly, you know, with them underneath you, that's impossible to get uh, legs of different length, and therefore they're both kind of, you know, bent. Um, and it's not until right around now, you know, past the fall line is where you really <clears throat> edge them because, you, you know, you have to there. Um, but, uh, you know, have the confidence. They'll come around, trust your equipment, roll them up. You know, it's kind of a similar thing here. Um, you know, they're just not out from underneath you. We don't want to see more angulated body. And they're just not really out from underneath you very much. And, and therefore, you know, you can see we want to be exiting kind of tight to the panel and you're kind of skidding way down. You can see the distance from the gate that you are. Now you're heading in and have to what we call hook up under the gate and you're you're hooking up here trying to you know kind of regain the elevation uh, to that next gate there you are yeah similar thing here we just you could see uh, haven't got to the rise line yet and that move right there is just a you know, heel push quickly, boom, and you got those skis into the fall line, um, you know, right away. I'm going to roll them up, stand on them, they'll come around, and now once you just pivot in them, and you know, it's hard to stop a skidded ski. They just keep skidding and skidding and skidding and skidding. You know, here I think the helper pole uh, helped, um, and I think it helped a lot on uh, Fallen Timbers the day before for you, um, and that was one of the reasons we put those in, was your comment was, I'm not too sure about my line, and, and there's a good line. You know, all of a sudden, you know, that caused you to, to not turn too early. You rolled them up there, and arced around that in one continuous motion and tight exit to the gate. You know, that was a good turn. You know, same here. These were just set up that, uh, to hug like you are and make one continuous turn and not to turn too early. You know, the way I set these, it would be hard to pivot, you know, to get the skis, you know, pointing in the fall line when you're in the rise line. It would be impossible. And therefore, you arced around nicely. So you got to remember that feeling. you got to remember that what we just did there and try to do that you know on your own when they're not there this was pretty good a little better there you know certainly um, you know you have more confidence on the flats which is understandable you know a little leaning in there and I'm, I'm sure you could see it right so we just really got to make sure that we're you know getting level Reaching out over the downhill ski with the outside hand, drive that outside arm forward and over the downhill ski. You know, get a little helper, helper there. But there was a little bit of a terrain that went over. It was sort of a little knoll there, and you got light, and kind of skidded down the bottom of that knoll. So, got to remember, anytime we're going over. Uh, a roll, we really got to, you know, maintain pressure, move forward with the roll, and press. And the roll kind of got you light. 
Um, here again, some helper gates, and the same idea. We were supposed to really hug those. Uh, it was set up to give you one nice arc. But uh, this is the thing. One thing we've talked about is you take too high, uh, a lot of times too high in conservative and slow round line, the safe line. And here we are. We wanted you, and a lot of the tracks of the other peak, other racers were you know tight the whole way. But here you're can't see exactly, but I would say you know four or five feet wide up here, taking a high conservative line around those, and then eventually you know joining in and hugging the last one where you know we really wanted you tight to here instead of out here right so you care you took some extra distance and uh, distance is time nope don't need that you know it looks like you know the next gate um, once we you know no helper poles and it looks like you turn too early it looks like those skis are in the fall line um, you know while you're in the rise line and uh, you know nowhere to go right now except to kind of you know skid a little here to give yourself room and then eventually try to finish the turn here where we want to have those skis pointed this way roll them up stand on them arc back to the gate so uh, you know a couple things to work on just having that confidence you can turn uh, steeper terrain, roll them up, get a platform at the top of the turn, push against it, push through the apex. And number two, you know, it's, it's not easy, but you know, try not to take sometimes that high conservative line. Push yourself. You know, this Saturday in training, push yourself to intersect the rise on a little lower, hammer the turn, get it done with a tight exit to the pole. But let's work on it on Saturday.